No, th- th- this has to be sarcastic. Sound speed? He can run at sound speed? And not the speed of sound? Th- this guy is like... 300 IQ memeing you guys. And you're actually falling for it. He... He found the actual original? Isn't it the same? If you, it's smaller. Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, it's so this one's like memeing on this guy. Okay, is that one of the greatest and most attractive characters ever thought up? He can run at sound speed. To... Sa- okay, he can run at sound speed. This guy is 300 IQ memeing, and no one got the point, and everyone thinks he's for real. <laughs> Take out enemies in a flash, and best of all, he's blue-colored and knows how to handle the females. Speaking of females, the Sonic universe might also be classified as hot chick heaven because there's such a mess of very beautiful and tough women that it'll make you love the franchise even more. And since Valentine's Day is around the corner, I've been inspired to make a top 10 list of the most beautiful female Sonic characters. Grab yourself a snack and a glass of orange juice, and try not to reach through the screen because here we go! Okay, this... Th- th- this has to be memeing. Th- it-, it has to. <laughs> I know the community is not healthy. <laughs> 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 and try not to reach through the screen because here we go like <laughs> number 10 try this question on for size who chases and hugs sonic all the time and wields a powerful hammer why it's amy rose of course though more of a cutie than a hottie you can't deny the fact that she's still attractive two things that make her attractive are the fact that she wears a dress and when have you I, 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 I don't, I don't have an emote for this. I don't. One of the things that is attractive about her is that she wears a dress. I'm not. With no panties. <laughs> One of the things that is attractive about Amy Rose is that she wears a dress. <laughs> if the guy was memeing, Donkey wouldn't have made the drive video? Maybe. Have you ever seen three big, very smooth arcs of hair sticking out of a person's forehead? I haven't. So, once again... <laughs> the, the, this can't be real. It can't. So the two things that are attractive about her is that she wears a dress... And she has three hair things sticking out of her forehead. I, I, I can't believe this is real. I can't. And Amy Rose is lovely. That is until she goes berserk and starts hitting stuff with her hammer. Who's at number nine? It's this alien plant girl from a distant planet, Cosmo from Sonic X. She arrived on the character's Literally planet who? to deliver a message saying that the galaxy was under attack by a force called the Metarex. She doesn't do much ex- Wait. Wait, I, I don't I don't follow Sonic lore. How how deep is the lore? What the it's, uh, beings from other planet? Wait, isn't this just about a, a hedgehog running around and like, making friends and being chased by Doctor Eggman? <laughs> Except tell people to stop fighting and focus on the real matter at hand. The real reason she lands at the number 9 spot is that she becomes Miles Tails Prower's sweetheart. Something Tails needed for a long while. Numero ocho. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Parenthesis. Spanish. In case you didn't know. <laughs> Telling you dude this game has the most convoluted stories that draws the most autistic people. Oh man, don't, don't even start about the Sonic fandom. Kami, you remember that that guy in college? Um, oh shit, that 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 guy. 
Oh, he was, uh, he had some problems. Yeah. He, uh, he would go on and on about Sonic for hours on end. Anyway, parenthesis Spanish. <laughs> Cream the rabbit's mother, vanilla. You guys have probably met. <laughs> he wouldn't make a video like. Would he? Do you think he would make a video like this? No, he would make a video explaining the lore and all of that. Now that you put it that way, <laughs> I think he would make a video explaining like the whole lore, and like. I don't think he's sexually attracted to the character. I don't know. She's attractive and is the size of an average human mother. What really surprises me about her is that the leader of Team Chaotix, Vector the Crocodile, falls in love with her. Kinda silly, don't you think? She's another character that doesn't- Kinda silly, don't you think? Wait, what, what up until now wasn't silly? <laughs> oh god do much but in a season 3 episode of Sonic X she helps Chris Thorndike get into space to fight the Metarex along with Sonic and friends holy shit the lore is way too deep for me what numbers next seven of course wave the swallow from Sonic Riders people always root for the good guys but sometimes the bad guys steal the show her mechanical IQ is equal to tails she also happens to be the smartest member of the Babylon Rose. I wonder why she isn't the leader. Like Jet the Hawk and Storm the Albatross, her specialty is riding the airboards called Extreme Gear. With two very long and smooth feathers extending from her head to her calves and droopy eyes, Wave will rock your socks. If only we could see her take wing. <laughs> Numero six. To call the Echidna from Sonic Adventure 1. These transitions, though. <laughs> Parenthesis, French. <laughs> Multiculturalism. There's birds in the Sonic universe, apparently. There's crocodiles, there's birds, there's everything. The, you know, the, the thing that I find weird about these semi-furry shit is not that there's... Not that there's anthropomorphic animals as characters, but that there's humans as characters. Like, humans exist in this universe, you know? If, if everything was an animal, I would be like, oh, okay, it's just, you know, an art style, it's just... But no, there's, there's humans, you know? It's supposed to be from another world? I guess... Wait... Where, where is Dr. Eggman from, then? <laughs> Wait, we're going too deep into it. Let's not to go. To call the Echidna from Sonic Adventure 1. Named after an ancient Mayan city of the same name, to call is the daughter of Chief Pakakamak. She's yet another character that hardly does a thing, except beg her father to stop being so greedy. She also traps herself inside the Master Emerald so that the water god Chaos doesn't rain terror upon the land. When you're the daughter of a person in the highest power, you need to look your best, and to call delivers perfectly. That's why she's number six. Number one, two, three, four, five! Ah, ah, ah! Mina Mongo. <laughs> Man, th this guy, <laughs> he could just make transitions. <laughs> he doesn't need to do anything else, he can just do transitions. <laughs> <laughs> they are so good. Like, holy shit. This from the Sonic Archie comics. How could you go wrong with a girl who looks like this? She could run nearly as fast as Sonic, and she went from being a freedom fighter to being a pop star singer. Next to Princess Sally, she looks more humanoid than the other characters. Who could top someone who has long, mauve hair? This female, standing at number four. Who could top someone who has long hair? Videos, <laughs> Donkey's video is very accurate, or yes. Blaze the cat. One word, pyrokinesis. How would you like to have that superpower? I mean, Blaze could play around in the Himalayas for hours and she would be perfectly fine. 
Also, her 45 degree ponytail makes her look like a Native American. I really love the fact that her love interest is the telekinetic hedgehog Silver. The combination of mind moving and fire superpowers make these two a reliable couple. But what really lands Blaze in the number four spot is that her attitude is apparently more different from the other females. Next okay, this one makes me believe that he's not actually memeing. <laughs> <laughs> Like this, that that he's like, oh, they're they're a good pair because they they go well together with their ability. Okay, this I think is real. Everything up until this point, I thought he was memeing, but now <laughs> I'm having second thoughts. Next up is number three. What's better than having a female with cascading quills? How about a female with cascading quills and hair? Julie Sue, the Echidna, another Archie comic exclusive, has that feature. She's smart, knows exactly what to do as a freedom fighter, and even trained Amy once. She's also the girl of Knuckles' dreams. <laughs> Lucky him. Her older self in the series, Moby- Ha! <laughs> Lucky him. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Yes, X years later is just downright hot. Just look at that long ponytail. Now we're talking! Number one, two, button my shoe! Princess- <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Number one, two button. <laughs> uh, three, four at the store. Dally Acorn. There's a lot to say about this character. She's the heir to the throne, Sonic's first official romance, the only character that used to not wear clothes, brave and athletic, the most humanoid. Okay, this is. This is another point of contention that I have with so the Sonic universe. Why are some characters fully clothed, clothed, and some are wearing like a jacket and they're naked? Like, I could understand them all being naked. I could understand them all being clothed. I could understand some being naked and some being clothed, but having a jacket and then being naked, that's like, what is going on with, in the mind of the creator? character and is like a mother to tails. In the TV show Sonic Sat AM, one freedom fighter, the cowardly Antoine, constantly tries to woo Sally but doesn't succeed because he's a coward. The princess is also a semi-perfect example of an excellent love interest. Although there it's were a recording. Couple... Sonic Sat AM, <laughs> look, one freedom fighter, the cowardly this is. Like, Antoine, this one's at least... constantly tries to woo Sally but doesn't succeed because at least stable. he's a coward. But... Look at this. The princess Look is at this also one. a semi-perfect example of an excellent love interest. Although there were a couple of times when she really <laughs> snapped and acted like a lunatic. In the comics, that is. But overall, Sally Acorn really stands out amongst the slew of females, not just because she's Sonic's first official love interest, or because she's the only one who didn't wear clothes, but because in the comics, she grew very long hair and married Sonic in the future, becoming the queen. Okay, checklist for this guy. He likes long hair. He likes dresses. He also kind of likes not wearing clothes. Yeah, this guy has something with hair. Yep, yep. The long hair, dresses, and sometimes being naked. And ponytails, yeah. Ponytails as well. So... You've seen a pyrokinetic cat, a swallow, <clears throat> two gorgeous echidnas, and even a princess. Who could possibly top those kinds of females? Well, get ready f Wait, hold, hold on. I, I might not be following the lore here. I might not have the full, the full lore of the, of the universe. But he says, a cat, a swallow, two echidnas. Isn't, isn't the one on the left a princess? Why does he only say one princess? I mean... He likes them smart. True. He likes them, um, popular as well. Who could possibly top those kinds of females? Well, get ready folks, this is the number one hottest Sonic the Hedgehog female. So she's gonna have long hair, 
Maybe it's in a ponytail. Maybe more than one ponytail. And she's going to be like super, super overpowered, like lots of power Male or something. Character. It's just Booba. <laughs> oh, of course, it had to be Rouge. Rouge the Bat. If anybody denies it, how dare you? This woman can fly, she's as strong as Knuckles, and is a femme fatale seducing other characters into getting what she wants. Oh yeah, Insta yeah, that, that's another thing. He also likes um, when they're different from other, other girls. That, that was another point. <laughs> it's, it's going to be a point. Instead of having one love interest, <laughs> that she been has a plot two, twist. Knuckles and Shadow the Hedgehog. Being a treasure thief, she's only interested in one object set, jewels, especially the Chaos Emeralds. There actually <laughs> have been situations where Rouge's cleavage has been exposed, but it eventually got censored. What a price to pay. I think the best part about this beauty is that she wears three different outfits unlike the other female characters. And who wouldn't want to fly across the landscape, be as strong as Sean <laughs> Johnson, and flirt with any male anytime, anywhere? These three traits make Rouge the Bat triumph over <laughs> all the Sonic the Hedgehog but... females. My hat goes off to you, Sonic Team USA. You ought to be proud. Okay, what's the rest of the there video? There you have it, folks. Those were the hottest female chicks in the Sonic universe. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you later. Here we go! Question. Is this him? Actual valid question. <laughs> is this the guy that made the video? <laughs> Wait, is... Are we have ending credits? Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Dunk tilt 89. <laughs> Dylan up tilt. True. Insane editing skills. This is just transitioned from media player. Windows media player. That's how everyone made their videos back then. I'm missing the the white the um, blue background with the white color white uh you know what i'm talking about the blue background with the white letters gonna play league with a friend hope you enjoy the quality crunch yes indeed very how how does the end not have like rouge why, why does it have amy which is like number one or, or something number 10. he's He's got this all wrong. Ah, oh, what did I just watch?